You could call this a good old fashioned mutt whooping. Squad, today, you know what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about this. Yes, after Last Man Standing finishes, there's a lot going on next week. We're talking about what it means, and of course, is this the indication that a new tier is dropping? Things are about to get very interesting. Haven't already, make sure you are liking this video, subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on as we're about to go for a ride. But I wanna know from you guys, because my credits are going down. They're going like seriously down. I will get some new ones. Holiday 2019 packs have dropped. Now I'm not gonna get one of these today, but I am. Now listen gentlemen, I will do a pack battle with someone, for them. But I want to know A, who, and B, whether you guys really want a pack battle. I'm going to say 2,000 likes. Why? Because the last goal I set you guys, 2,000 likes, we actually oh, we either have hit or is about to hit for a 10,000 Money in the Bank contract pick opening, which we should be doing this week just before the flash events start. So it's gonna be uh, gonna be pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that. So, you wanna see a pack battle? Drop those likes ASAP. Very interesting, but also I'm not going to be going ham on these without it being a pack battle or something special because I know that my luck with these are horrible, unlike everyone else who seems to be pulling good cards left, right and center, which is really, really frustrating. So what is going on in the world of WWE Supercard? Well, first of all, this is the first time ever this early on, not only that we got Last Man Standing in a tier, but that we have flash events dropping as well. And we're gonna talk about the, the, the whys and hows and what, what this means. So first of all, it says that a chance to collect a uh, St. Mick continues for players above primal so just so we don't get that confused i don't believe this means you can pull another one off the board if you've already got him the plus one rule goes for anyone under primal so if you are primal or below so no nightmare or below you won't you won't be able to get some mick or saint mick but you will be able to get yourself a pull above your tier so if you're in Nightmare, you'll get Primal, or some Sun 19, we'll get Nightmare, etc. Then there'll be a Flash Road to Glory and Flash Ring Domination covering next weekend, Thursday to Sunday, which obviously goes into TLC. So I would assume it's going to be a TLC based event, or like a superstar. Because I don't understand why they do that, but I've got a good idea why we're getting these events now. And the first thing to say is it is not just about getting a new tin. No, if we go back to the original announcement of Season 6, ladies and gentlemen, you may remember there was a pretty, pretty big topic, and that was about teams. So we obviously know that we've changed across to, if I show you, a 20-person team system. And on top of that, we've also got two sets of team battlegrounds. The team events have stayed the same. But there was talk of a brand new event focused on teams. So my theory is that it doesn't actually say in that text that it's a team event. What it says, as I played up at Last Man Standing, is it is an event that takes advantage of the fact that we've now got 20 person teams. So it is something that plays into all the announcements and all the changes teams wise. Please don't be team over the limit or team last man standing. Back of you. They wanted to release this in the winter months and if they released it in two weeks time, which would be uh, after a road to glory and a ring domination cycle that would normally happen, then it would land on boxing day, which is an ideal considering Christmas is around that time period. Unless people are going to be playing, unless people are gonna be watching and Etc. 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 Which means it's very likely this sudden announcement of a flash event has a twofold explanation. The first explanation is very, very simple, and that is we're going to be getting a new tier very, very soon, and it's a way of speeding up progression for pretty much anyone 
who's playing the game at the moment to get people up tiers faster is one of the reasons they've done LMS this week is to get people up the tiers faster than they currently would be able to so that they would be able to enjoy or benefit from a Royal Rumble tier. Not to mention it's pretty much been leaked already so we, we, we know it was probably going to happen but it wasn't a hundred percent it could have just been left in there by mistake and it's something that was considered but wasn't actually taken up but the more likely reason this has been done is to bring in a brand new event which would be what drops the week before christmas that could just be that we're getting a new team event but going by the wording in this it definitely seems like it's an event again as i said earlier on they don't say it's a new team event they say a new event that takes advantage of teams and the specific wording as you can see on the screen was we'll continue iterating on teams all season not to be too teasery but we are working on a brand new event type exclusive to teams this is a post-launch thing we plan to deliver later this winter and it'll leverage all of the above it says leverage all of the above obviously i'm expecting that means 20 people which is doubling where it was it was 10 people then it says about uh, changes to Team Battlegrounds. So I don't know how that's going to be put into it. And then you've got new perks to purchase. So I'm assuming that there's going to be like team titles or something like that. Hopefully we find out more real, real soon. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think they're dropping the new event? Do you think it's a kind of like two-way reason for them dropping this? I need to make sure I pay good attention to this. Okay, we're good. Sorry, uh, the reason why is that uh, the the computer has a... Yeah, this NMS hasn't been too kind to me. Um, I've had to spend a lot of credits to get just over Arena 100, which is what I'm at at the moment. And um, the computer has decided many, many times during this event to try and screw me over. Um, yeah. What I'm going to say is huge thanks to Edward for his tips. And a huge thanks to Chance, who also helped me out as well. So without them, I wouldn't be anywhere near as far as I am. And if you just saw me uh, back out, the reason why is because I was going to lose that match. So I, I quit out the game. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this news. Uh, I hope that we hear more during, let's say, ring domination. So I'm thinking Saturday next week. We'll probably hear more details about this, but I'm excited. I, I would love a Survivor Series style event. Even if, I don't know, it picks like five of your team's deck or something. A randomized thing. Like the Road to Glory. So if you've got your team deck here, uh, you have a Survivor Series style event where it picks five of your team's deck. Uh, randomized and says, right, you're all fighting this card it's a special new event card and then as you can see here it picks those so you might end up with my deck and get a couple of primals which isn't ideal but then you'll get yourself a vanguard pro female but you might end up with someone like chance's deck who's got no vanguard female but has hulk hogan fully heroic pro and kofi kingston uh, but I would accept any ideas you guys have got in the comments as to what it's going to be. You could also be uh, like uh, G here, Phil Mitchell, his name is on the, in the game. Full Heroic, Pete Dunn, and a Heroic Vanguard. So not Heroic Vanguard, a Vanguard Pro Io Shirai. This LMS has been pretty, pretty brutal. I'd like to know where you're ranked in LMS in the comment section down below. I know that... There's definitely been less people playing this LMS uh, than there, there usually is, which is not surprising given how crazy it's been. It's been way too difficult for some people. The, the deck imbalance stuff is just crazy, and I'm I was kind of hoping that they would move on with that, and they weren't going to make this like a a bit like a feature in season. Uh, let's make sure I've got this right. Yep, they're all good. Uh, make this a feature or something that's, that's going to feature in uh, season six but they've still got a long way to go with lms a long long way to go there's things that they need to change like asap 
because um, I've not enjoyed this event at all. Hopefully the next team event though I'll enjoy, or the, the new team event, I'll enjoy it much more. I need to close this down because I wasn't going to lose. Yeah. At this, at, this, at this point, with how bad it's been and how many credits I've had to spend to even get to Arena 100, and I would take a heroic road to glory any day over this stuff. You know, I'd even I'd even take waiting for a giant in Giants Unleashed over this. Anyway, I've been Super Zombie God Barbecue. Let me know what your ranking in LMS is. And you know what, any other holiday cards or anything else you get. And your thoughts about what is going on next week or the week afterwards. Why was there the speed up of the Flash events, etc. In the comments down below. And remember, 2,000 likes and we will do a pack battle. For those holidays 2019 cards any suggestions of course i'd happy to listen to but 2000 likes is what we're looking for i'm hopefully gonna get the w here oh, don't proc don't proc don't proc i think we're okay yeah we're good, yeah, we're good, we're good. It, it doesn't matter if i wasn't good i was just about to lose we're gonna guess as a pan and plus plus pack we might get a second one as well Ooh, not quite okay so yeah, subscribe to the channel, take notifications on. Uh, pretty bad pack, but one thing I can commend this event for though, lots and lots of training food. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll do the NMS rewards there and then.